everybody. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. Vancouver's closing out an extended road trip here. I'm not sure they wanted to end, though. They have had from player one to player 23 an excellent road trip. Contributions across the board. Their special teams have been good. It's been an excellent trip. Two teams looking star for a win. And we are set to go. The Blackhawks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Quick shot, denies him with a save. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Tanev's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The game is still scoreless. Chicago's won the faceoff. Turns him away! Hey, usually the whistle is gonna stop the play. I guess not tonight. Taves is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Taken along the wall by Tanev. Vancouver's in transition. And now he moves it to Pedersen. From the left side, takes it at center. And he makes the save. Now he slides it up to Dabrinkit. They've got the defense outnumbered. Moves right to the middle, and that one's broken up. Here's a short pass to Toffoli. Takes it to the front. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Crawford's able to get out and make the save on that great A chance. Denies him on the slapper. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Quick pass to Kane. Here they are on the attack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Move to the middle. Puck picked up by Horvat. Quick feed to Hughes. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. Forces the turnover. Jabs the puck away. Dabrinkit's got it in the defensive end. Nice zone entry on the left side. He got all of that hit on the play. From the point, they take control of it. Moves it to Murphy. Puts it on net. A little too much height on that. Yeah, maybe take a little bit off and get it on the net. The goalie had to duck. Pass across to DeHaan. Vancouver's got possession at center. Regains possession at center. Looks to pass it to Kane. He almost lost it for a sec. Puts it in the back of the net. And there's number 20. You can appreciate these moments. Yeah, these are good numbers. I'll tell you, you get past 20, and you know you've had a good season. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. The Blackhawks get on the board first and they now lead 1-0. That's good execution from them, James, after a pretty tight first half of the period. Now they can play from in front. Taken by Myers. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Centered out in front. And that's picked off. Feeds the puck to Shaw. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Slides it across. And they can convert to the play. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. No one home on that play. They go on the attack from the left side. Here's the pass. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Takes the feed. They've got numbers. Pass right on the doorstep. What a great read breaking up the pass. Vancouver's moving it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Vertanen. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Seabrook. Feeds it up ahead. Receives the pass. And he scores! What a shot! The 
is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick, he gets beat again. That's a nice shot. The Blackhawks have given themselves a two-goal lead, but why does everybody consider this the most dreaded lead in hockey? I think because teams tend to get a little bit tentative. They're comfortable with the two-goal lead. Don't give up the aggression now. There's too much hockey left to be played. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. The Canucks have done a terrific job intercepting pucks, having their sticks in positions to deny plays in the middle of the ice. This game has been really tight. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Hammers him into the boards. Puck carrier thought he could squeeze by. All of a sudden, the door closed. Up along the wing. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Stops him cold. Sends a pass over. Nice zone entry from the right side. Chicago's got the puck now. Sends the pass across the ice. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. There's the whistle icing the call. Swoop, swoop. Don't forget that 50-50 draws coming up in the third period. Grab your tickets for a chance at the grand prize. Late goings of this period. The Blackhawks now lead by two. Miller's won the draw. Small play, but a key play. Now you've got possession in the offensive zone. Gains the zone from the right side. Centering pass! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. There he is, from the point. Hammers a shot! And the first period comes to an end. Chicago's got the lead that they wanted going into this one. A couple of goals here in the first gives them a 2-0 lead. It's time for a Two minutes, you can get a free hamburger courtesy of our Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Chicago's game plan was to get out quickly. Did they ever? They've had a pile of shots and a two-goal lead. And he makes the save with ease. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is the score. Chicago's got it, and they're on the attack. Here's a shot. Denies him with the save. Puck scooped up by Debrinket. Loses his balance on the play. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Grabbed along the board by Keith. Chicago's playing it through center. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. The Blackhawks play it along the wing. Make a change, make a change. Here's a chance with the stop. Puck still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Batten down the hatches. They're going to go here. Yeah, I thought we'd get a few of these tonight. Here's another. Hughes isn't too interested in this challenge. He just turns away. This doesn't feel like we've seen the last of these two teams going out of here. No, they don't like each other, and we, we knew it was going to be a pretty heated game. The Blackhawks and their fans are pretty excited about the way that fight went. Now we'll see if they can take advantage of the momentum. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Passes over to Pearson. And now he angles it across to Vertanen. 
That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Sends the pass over. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Not able to connect. Quick pass. Look out. Here's a 2 on 0 And now it's over to Keith. Oh, Ray, what a play. The defender comes right back and swipes this play away before it's a real dangerous chance. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. He's in all alone. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. No short break in the net. Wow, he rifled that past the goaltender. He had such good speed, the goalie's backing up quickly, but he can't get to the spot where the puck is. The Blackhawks have been the busier team offensively tonight. They've dominated in their own end, haven't given up anything, and scored almost at will like the other. Puck grab by Stetcher. Quick feed to McGinn. Good hit. Wow. Well, now they're only down by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance, but they've got to score again quick. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Vancouver's given themselves something that everybody in sports longs for. Hope here, Ray. Hope, a chance. Hey, it's here. Something. Time isn't the enemy yet. And the puck departs the zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Vancouver's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. And now it's grabbed by Keith. Puck sent over to Taves. Tries to the crease. And that's a paddling from the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good saving close. Huge steal in his own end. The Canucks continue to have solid positioning, intercepting pucks, keeping the game close because there is no room. The Blackhawks will play it against the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Canucks will play it in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to McGinn. Takes the pass. Chicago's got the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Sends it over. Can't connect. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Big play inside the defensive zone. Dishes it to Smith. That pass goes a little sideways. Gains the zone through the middle. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Nothing doing on that. Picking up some steam at center ice. Takes it into the slot. Oh, he'll feel that one. He was locked in there. The Blackhawks have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Vancouver's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Moves it to Horvath. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Oh, that was violent. That's a big hit, and it jars you right to the core when you get hit like that. Moves it quickly over to Carpenter, and now he tries to get it across to Saad. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. With some open space at center. Here's an odd man rush. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Can't catch up to the pass. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the play surface at any time during the game. 
The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate removal from this field. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. I'm James Sabolski, and we are ready to get this third period going. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played. Scores! One goal game. Now they put themselves in a position here to come all the way back. Down two, it looks like a long way to go. Now you're just one shot away. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Vancouver's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. A strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Toffoli. And that's broken up. Puck moved over to Kane. He's got a step. Centering pass. He scores! So tight to the net, he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Chicago's goal here early in the third has now given themselves a two-goal lead. Coaches are pretty happy with this start. You come out of the intermission leading by one, and you tell your team, get after it, be aggressive. They were, and now they lead by two. And he elects to play the puck. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Puck picked up by Kane. And that's blocked. Denies him in front. Taken by Demko. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of time left in this period. The Blackhawks have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Miller's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. DeHaan's got the puck in his own zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. The Canucks have it behind the cage. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. From the blue line, they take control of it. Quick pass to Murphy. Puck scooped up by Carpenter. And that one's broken up. Handles the puck. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Came up with the save on that play. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. It's been almost a lock this season when he gets a scoring chance where that puck's going to end up right in the back of the net. The Blackhawks have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. The Blackhawks gain possession in their own end. Puck grabbed by Kent. There he is from the slot. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. The Red Wings are on the schedule for the next day here. Yeah, it's fine for us to look ahead, but you really can't do that. You still got to finish the job at hand. Made that stop. Demko's. Oh, he's trying to box him out. Just getting a little testy. Myers shakes his head and declines this challenge. He's not interested. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Chicago's doubled up on them. It's now 4 2. Beagles won the faceoff. Picked up along the boards by Myers. The Canucks take it along the wing. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Here he is in front! Fantastic save! Puck knocked loose after that hit. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. 
scooped up along the wall by Shaw. He carries the puck up along the wing. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. And there it is, but wait a second. They're waving this one off. I don't think this should count either, James. The play is waved off immediately. The Blackhawks are not going to like this. Right away, the puck goes in the net, and the referee waves this down. There is no goal called here. We'll get a second look at this one, but pretty quick to say no. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Into the offensive zone. Centered out in front, and they can't connect. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to McGinn. Centering pass, and he stands tall in goal. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards and makes the save. Grabs the puck right in front and tries to escape the pressure. Big save by the goaltender once again. And that's just out of reach. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one. But, hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Chicago's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Toffoli. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Couldn't find the intended target. Tosses it to Toffoli. Here's a chance. Strong defensive effort. Hammers the shot. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Sends it over. Well, that'll get a response. Horvat's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. What a steal in his own end. Here he is, wristed on net. Stones him in front. Pass to Smith. Feeds it to Shaw. It's a three on one. Sends it across. Scores! Quick blast. No chance. He got clear in the low slot. Found where the opening was and takes that pass to one time it passed the goalie. Chicago's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Moves it quickly over to Pearson. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he moves it up to Debrinkit. Vancouver's got the puck here in the open ice. Quick pass to Pearson. The Blackhawks take over on possession and tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. Here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. You know, the one thing I've learned about the history of sports, rivalries sell, case in point. And whatever spills over from the last game or a game five games ago, you never know when it's going to spark. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a pretty spirited tilt just moments ago. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Pearson's lugging the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Furlan. Can't find his man. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. And we've got a two-on-one. Nice save from point-blank range. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Chicago's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And with the two centers tangled up, the wingers skates away with it. Nice pass. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. 
Slides it up to Kane. And that pass goes awry. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Chicago's winning ways are showing no end here, Ray. No, they're not, James. I mean, I, I love the way they're playing. And when you watch the play, it seems like they're going to win all the time. They have total belief in their team. Well, with another home team victory, you know what that means. It's time to party. Yeah, the fans get to salute the team. The team salutes them for sticking around and cheering them on through this game. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.